Vietnam, we have our first international project to track pangolins with generous support from the USAID saving species. This is the first time anywhere in the world that the pangolin has been tracked using a drone and that multiple pangolins have been tracked at the same time. It's a, a really great trial for us because we haven't really been in a tropical forest that has dense vegetation both in the canopy and the understory. So we just really didn't know how possible it was to pick up a radio signal from above the canopy from an animal that is on the ground and even underground. The forest in Vietnam is very dense and tall and also it's all of the mountain around and it's really hard to access. It's a lot of spiky plants and everything, so it's really hard for a research team to be able to do manually. So we really hope with the new technology of using the drone to be able to monitor so that it reduces the time and also we'll be able to track this many animals. What we can do now is in a manner of uh, a few flights, we can get a location and a flight is, is around in up to 20 minutes long. So if you think about the time of a few flights versus a few days, there's huge, huge savings, which just means that it's increasing their capacity to be able to trap more animals. So it really improves their ability to be able to find them. Um, so Vietnam wildlife has been uh, released over 900 uh, animals, especially uh, over 800 of them are pangolins. So uh, because it's, we really want to acquire information, so we really want to check as much as we can, so to be able to tell like the uh, full story about the how animals are doing after we release them. So to be able to collect information of like 50, 100 of pangolins, that is really good information for us. And it's not only support for Save Vietnam Wildlife, whole across the world, everyone is rescue pangolins. So that is also a good lesson learned for the other place. What we have found is that it's actually very possible to pick up those signals, which is super exciting. We're getting really great signals and that has proven that it's just uh, to search these really complex landscapes where there's lots of peaks and troughs and they could be in any number of places, but we're picking them up with the drone because we can maneuver it around the landscape. We just very lucky to have a wildlife drone um, is come and support for Save Vietnam Wildlife. So uh, thank you very much for like, coming to help us on this pangolin monitoring project which funded by USAID Saving Species.